Hello friends, I'm Jessica Nicole Dickerson aka JND and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are finally fixing the mess that is my bookshelf. Yes, I'm trying something new with my bookshelves and I might hate it, but we'll see. But I'm very excited because I think it's going to be very unique and colorful, which is just my vibe. Let's get to it. Okay, so if you don't know, right now I have all my five star books right here. I have four star books, four star books and some three star books that I'm keeping, all my Ellen Hopkins, and then this little section and everything above is my TBR, so my to be read pile, except for some of these mangas. So I am going to keep them divided and i'm so excited to see how this works and if i end up liking it i'll also show you my methodology on how i make my rainbow shelves but first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take off all my five star four star books all my red books and put them on the floor and organize them by color so tip one for doing any kind of book organization is yeah know the game plan of what you're gonna do so i kind of know mine and i'll share a picture of what i'm trying to achieve so there's two types of rainbow shelves that i constantly see i see a horizontal rainbow which has like you know reds bleeding into oranges and yellows and then you go to your blues and greens um kind of horizontally then there's also a vertical rainbow i see a lot where you have all your whites kind of spread out throughout a couple of bookshelves vertically and then the next color next door to it and that and that so i actually I'm going to attempt having two different types of rainbows on my shelves. I know, it may turn out really ugly, but yeah, have a plan for what you kind of want to do. It makes it a lot easier, honestly, because now all I have to do is just organize by color and kind of slap the books back up. So yeah, now I am going to start organizing by color on the floor and see what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to start with my red books because I, that's the part I'm scared of disliking the most. But let's try it. I might hate it, who knows, we will see. Okay, when you're doing a rainbow shelf, it's just important to start off with organizing by color. This is also important steps for any book organization, like you would do genre or by author name. Um, but I did it by color, so oh, there's a lot of blacks. And I'm also going to show you a little tip of what to do if you want a rainbow shelf, but you have a lot of black books. So let me just do a little example on my shelves that I've shown before, but just in case you haven't seen it, I'll show it again. Quick pro tip, how to make your rainbow look better when you have a lot of black books. Okay, so say you have a lot of black books and not too many colors. What you can do is take some of those black books, let me grab a couple. So I have some black books or black spines here and say so you don't have that many purple books what you can do to elongate the color so yeah that way you can elongate some colors if you don't have that many by just tucking the black books in between and you can also do that with white and it just looks different you know okay now I kind of prefer to do this next part on the floor where I organize them like neatly in color so I will figure out the tones of it so just make sure if you're doing a rainbow shelf to put books that kind of have similar tones next to them besides color it's just there's something about it where if you have something cool or warm toned next to each other if you have to, like it kind of streamlined cooled and warm it just flows just slightly better but I'll show you what I normally do and since this is kind of my collection split in half because these are my red books because again keeping them separate because I want to tackle my TBR and do a little less um like a reading of these and more of the books that I've been purchasing for years that I need to get to so the lower half of my bookshelves are going to be all my red books and this is where I want to do more of the vertical rainbow I have to see if I have enough books and things for this to look good. This is the part where I'm like, is this going to be ugly? Am I going to hate this? Am I going to spend hours doing something for it to turn out ugly? 
we'll see i normally just do the rainbow on the floor and just see what fits best but i actually think for the vertical rainbow it's best to just throw it up and i also am gonna have some out facing books because now i think i have space on my shelves to actually have some books on display which i haven't for a few months because i've had so many books on my shelves so very happy to see how it's gonna look so hang in there buds it's looking questionable <laughs> Dude. So those are the only purples that I have. Now we're going to blues. And I have to figure out if I should go light to dark blue. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do lighter blues to darker blues. That's where I'm talking about. That's where I'm talking about tone being important. So we have like a lighter tone versus like navy or true blue. So let's see. abandon the vertical rainbow yeah we're just we're gonna get, we're we're gonna try something else okay so now we're working with a regular rainbow so i'm going to start with white on this side and again these are just my red books i still am going to keep a divide between my red and unread to keep my tbr kind of up above so starting with white and then i think i'll just snake up with white so it kind of is white in the center and it moves through the rainbow and then back to black it's kind of what i'm vibing with currently we'll see if that works so yeah gonna go from white to pink to red let's do it just way more satisfying <laughs> I don't like it. I'll keep playing with it. <laughs> Okay, I have half of the rainbow done, so those are all my red books. It got a little crammed, but now the second half is going to be my unread, and I hope it looks good or else I'm going to be very upset. This is, this is the state of it. It's a little messy, but you know what? I don't mind, and I actually have some books facing out on display. I mean, there's a few books hidden behind that one, and this one is... This is ugly for me. Those greens are kind of ooh, and these are kind of ooh. But you know what? These reds look pretty decent. The whites and blacks obviously look good. Um, but yeah, some of them, not so much. So definitely need to read more books so I can then put them and help the rainbow out a little bit. We'll see. Let me see how I like this because I don't know if this is turning out terrible and this was a horrible idea, possibly. I'm also going to put my mangas all up there and all my Ellen Hopkin books up there. So let me go do that. It's hard to 
hard to see but mangas a lot of Hopkins and some big books <laughs> now the TBR the mess <laughs> in my final unhaul book video I will explain how many books I have left and my plan to tackle them but I'm very happy with the amount of books I unhauled there seems to be some space to play with so that makes me happy but also like I have committee books how still and those down there, those are my favorite. So do I need all of that? Oh. Especially the ones I don't like, so I gotta weed them out. We'll see. Another tip is to actually include all your books. So I have the ones that I'm kind of currently reading. Uh, you can't even tell what books they are because I'm not showing them properly. So these are the few books that I'm currently reading this week. Uh, and I'm going to put them on the shelves to make sure I don't forget them and then there's like no space for them on the shelves and it's funny because I, I did buy some books in the, over the last few months and I probably need to just completely stop until I unhaul more books read and unhaul more books because uh, I don't think there's space guys I don't think there's space I also am a little too lazy to put all my books on the floor and organize them by color so we'll see how this process goes <laughs> if I like it or if anything else needs to be changed because yeah it's just a little odd hmm I think I'm gonna live with it for a little bit but um I do think it's not as clean because I've divided my colors in half so there's just less greens and less blues versus if I had the blues and greens all together you know what I mean but I do think it's like popping let me give you a look because I'm thinking of when I film videos and stuff like that do I like it do you like it what do you think? Was this a mistake? Uh, I kind of dig it. I just, the only thing that kind of bums me out is like it's not perfect. It's, yeah, it's not like clean. There's some gaps. But otherwise, I like that I have books facing out now. I think it just looks 
a little bit more dynamic and it's technically not as messy as it was before what i could change if i wanted to change something which i don't not really i'm a little tired i'm a little tuckered um i could have the whites um on my so this is my red stack so these are all the whites and it starts the rainbow i could have the whites start also on this side and so that way the colors kind of follow each other and then diverge that actually sounds pretty cool now that i'm saying it but <laughs> i think i'm gonna live with this for a few days and then we'll decide but for now that's my that's my book organization video uh yeah the vertical rainbow was a no-go x nay i think i mean maybe if i was using all my colors it would kind of work but i it's just no my brain does not think that way even this way is a little bit weird because it's just not as clean as i prefer i'd like a crisp rainbow <laughs> i don't know if i like it but i'm keeping it for the for the next couple like i'm gonna try a couple days or the next week at least and see if i like it but like i'm happy that i like have all my books on my shelves they fit there is wiggle room literally like two books two black books can fit um, and then I kind of also like the idea that when I finish reading a book, I can take it and kind of just fit it and just stuff it below into my red section or unhaul it, obviously. Um, and then my rainbow would kind of move, if that makes sense. That's kind of what I'm liking about this, sort of. We'll see if this lasts. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you liked any of my tips. Um, if you hated it, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> it helps my channel also yeah i just think the bookshelves just look a little bit more dynamic now so i, I kind of like it it's growing on me yeah. but i wanted to give a huge shout out to my patreons for your support and love it means the world right now if you sign up for my patreon in the month of november for the five dollar or ten dollar tier besides bonus content videos things you get this exclusive bookmark it says shh i'm booked i'll also insert a photo so you can kind of see it better because it's just wanting to uh focus on my face but yeah i got i've been designing this bookmark for the last month and i'm really excited to share it with my patrons i will personally mail it to you and send you a little note personalized note if you want anything because i can talk and chat with you guys on my patreon it's just a fun place with tons of reading vlogs and bonus videos that i post there and for nanorama i'm trying to do way more writing content i have a couple of writing vlogs on there but hopefully more to come but yes that's it for today's video make sure to check out my patreon um subscribe if you like this video if you didn't that's okay just move on to another channel good luck finding a video you enjoy if you made it to the end of this video comment down below this emoji so i know you are the real mvp and again big shout out to my patrons I hope this video gave you a little bit more sunshine, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Can you tell that I got giant pit stains? Okay. Only a little bit. Only, only a little bit. We're good.